So today I'm going to show you how to disable the backup beeper on an EWM50 scooter. So there's two ways to go about it, but there's a long way, which is actually kind of easier, and then the short way, which is, you know, if it works for you, great. But uh, just to get started, we'll go ahead and pull the seat off. Pull that battery out and tip it over on its side so you can see what's going on. So in the center here is where the control unit's at. And this is the speaker for both the horn and the backup buzzer, beeper, whatever. You can see this wire here that's disconnected, this black and red. That's the wire for the speaker, which I've already disconnected. So it's in this harness back here, but you probably won't be able to reach it from here, but if you can, you can disconnect it without damaging it that way. You could do it that way. Or you could follow this disassembly and do it this way. And then nothing gets damaged. So to start with, um, you're gonna come down here and you'll find a screw. <clears throat> and that screw is right there. So you'll go ahead and buzz that out of there. It's to get to get to this control unit, you have to take this whole foot plate, the whole plastic top has to come off of there. But it's really not that hard. You take one screw out. You're gonna release this rear axle assembly and pull that out of the way. And then you've got these plugs that are gonna come up. And then these two bolts here, they're all 10 millimeter head bolts. So I just use a flat pocket screwdriver, something like that. I'm using a 10 millimeter deep well socket. And yeah, you're just gonna kind of loosen this up a little bit. Then uh, come around to the right side. And you're not really taking this plate all the way off. You just need to lift it up high enough to get to the harness there. Here you can see that this would have been, this was plugged in right here. So I could easily get my hand in there and this will come up high enough to where you can get in there and disconnect this here. And it's, it goes right to the, uh, the speaker down below. So it's, it's pretty obvious which one it is. There's nothing else that has those two color wires <laughs> right there. So looks like they got a fuse in there too. So yeah, this, this whole cover doesn't really come off. You don't need it to. There's still a lot of hold downs and everything strapped up. Then you just set this back down and you can just put your put your bolts back in. And then we can put our plugs back in. So now you don't have a horn, but I mean, come on, who really needs a horn? 
and you know you're accepting all liability that you don't have that backup beeper anymore so um, you want to make sure that you're not using this in an area where you have a lot of people uh, pets that kind of thing if you're going to be using it without that that backup alarm you know you're, you're assuming all the risks that go along with it that's a safety device that they put in there for a reason so if you're going to disable it then you accept the responsibility that you've disabled that safety device and all the things that can go with it but um, that's the that's the process that I'd recommend if that's what you want to do it's up to you I have no idea if it affects warranty or serviceability you have to take that up with the manufacturer you can talk to their service desk and see what they think but you can bet that they do not recommend that you disconnect that alarm speaker so that's it hope to see you on another video take care